Good morning. We're out here at Liberty Landing. Whew. Gonna made my Hangar 9 10 cc Valiant. And we got winds there. They're blowing from uh, right over there by the pole right there. North, northeast right there. That's north. North is right there. Northeast is about right there. So it's northeast. Northeast winds. And they're gusting up to 10. They're not too bad right now. So uh, I just got through doing a 360 range check. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty loose. There's my high rates. There's my low rates, so we're going to go low rates, uh, up, up, down, left, right, I got to go boom, all the way over. All right, so I got that in case I need, because I'm a trim, I'm not too sure on my elevator. I straight edged it and eyeballed it, but um, a little nervous. And it fits in the car, I've just taken one wing off, so that's a plus, but uh I don't know how the wheel pants are going to work, but uh, Hangar 9 Valiant 10cc, uh, let's go flying. We're flying! I've got a 46 Value Hobby motor in there, 6 cell. Nice. Whew. Try some left turns. Through the wings. I'm going to have to add some stickers or something to the wings. Crazy Eddie says, let me cover, let me cover. No. <laughs> it's supposed to clear off later on today, but I don't know. I just wanted to get out and get this maiden in the book. Again, I'm not doing anything. I'm just checking my trim. Timer. Trim feels perfect. I'm not. That was that was sticks off even in that crosswind. It it acted predictable. A little more rudder. I'm adding more rudder in the turns. Get her down. Oh yeah, nice. Nice looking turn. That was like half throttle. Nice. It's everything I was hoping it would be so far. But just a few minutes in on the maiden, it's kind of early to say. Like 63 inch wingspan is what it's, I think the book said, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Might have to turn my expo down. I've got 25% all around. Might have to drop it down. I'll drop it down to 20. See how that works. Let's see how my low rates roll. Ooh, too, too, too low. 70% <laughs> is not a good roll rate. <laughs> Note to self. Stunt five. Slide around on stunt five, see how she feels. This is like 80%. 80% around the block. Flying like just above half. I got a 12 by 7 prop on it. Let's see how slow we can go with no flaps. Pretty good. We'll get a little altitude and we'll come kind of come down the runway of the way I'm going to be landing into a crosswind and we'll try our flaps. Come stay about that high. There's my takeoff flaps. I don't have a lot of flap travel yet. I'm just playing with it. We got a little balloon there. All right, that's not bad. I got a little down. I don't like down mix, but 
I think I mixed in like maybe three on the low and five on the, the high because I believe in throttle control for flaps. We'll fly it around to a full timer. Again, I'm just, just flying it around, just getting the hang of it. This is high, my high rates, which I think I'm probably going to live in. I don't do inverted stuff on a, on a Maiden, and I don't usually do it on the camera. I rarely do it on the camera. I think you can see in all the years of me doing videos, there might be four videos where I actually flew in invert. I can fly inverted, but I don't, I don't know. Ever since I crashed my Park Zone Extra 300, the orange and white one. <laughs> I can tell you what I was trying to do. I was doing a hammerhead like this. And I was coming down and I was going to come out of it inverted. It didn't work. <laughs> ah, the boot, I had it right over my head. Alright, let's see if we can get a landing in. And the bugs are out. I noticed that at home. Getting the hang. I know this thing has to land with some power. Oh yeah, that was sweet. Just trying to point into the wind like all planes want to do. Wow. A little, maybe a little fast, but... It's got some heft to it. And I think my struts are doing well. I mean, my spats, little pants. Of course, Crazy Eddie had to paint the landing gear red. Let's stop her there. Let's scroll over and check what our battery voltage is doing. Twenty-three volts divided by six. Yeah, I think we can fly some more. Let's get another landing in. Get it out of that. All right. Ah, let's try some takeoff flaps. Nah, I'm not gonna take off flaps. If, if you unleash, unleash the throws, I got them set mild. And I've got a bigger prop, but I don't know. This seems to be flying well. So we'll see. I, I was gonna put, I wanted to put like a 14 inch prop on it. That's what I wanted to put. Landing flap. Time to stop. Let's see if we can get it touch a little slower. There we go. I blew just a little bit on the flare. I could say it was the bumps, but that was nice. It was pretty smooth landing. And again, the the wheel pants are doing pretty well as long as I stay out there in the smooth. And I was taxiing around, I taxied from the hauler. Again, this, this has the faster, faster red landing gear. I like it. In fact, let's, uh, let's go get another landing. After the maiden, I'm gonna kinda check everything wiggle everything, make sure everything's tight. I reinforced, I re-glued, added some more glue to the motor box in the nose of this, because I saw where people were saying that it's weak. Takeoff flaps. Landing flaps. Time to stop. There we go, that was perfect there. Hope I was looking down enough. I think I was looking up. But you just have to trust me. It was perfect. Motor off. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is a. Let's see. I've got a little noise on my servos and my flaps. Take off flaps. 
It's just because of the way the way I did the hinges, and you can hear you can hear the ESC the the fan on the ESC. But there you go, man. There you go. There's my um, Hangar Nine, 10 cc Valiant, 63 inches. I'm so happy. Uh, Brad, pay it forward. Thank you, sir. This was a gift to the channel from Brad. Brad, pay it forward. Um, fantastic guy. Whether he do, he doesn't have to give anything for me to say he's fantastic, man. It's a pleasure. It's an honor, sir, to know you. That's a fact. I enjoy meeting people. Um, I've met a lot of people that um, watch my videos, and I thank you for that. I've had I enjoy every bit of it. I know sometimes we didn't get to talk all that long. Uh, Yep, Paul McDaniel, man, we didn't seem like we didn't spend any time at Bigfoot, but you were busy, man, hanging out with Kenny and David and um, Renee and and Paul. But there you have her, man, the Hangar 9 Valiant. I think it's going to be a fun plane to fly. Like I said, we got winds are blowing about 10, 8 to, you know, 5 to 10, but, you know, a little crosswind, but, you know, that's what, that's what that thing on the end of the fuse is for, the rudder. And there you have her, man. Uh build uh putting the hinges on the flaps that was kind of a pain it's like my first one i don't know I, I i've never had those kind of hinges before never done those kind of pin hinges where they've got these for the for the valiant and it was the first time and my you know they're good i mean they're in there they're fine it's just that i don't like the alignment of them you know that's why I got a servo that burps because I had to I had to got to press one up a little bit. But um, there you have her, guys. It was fun. I got a master air screw, um, 12 by 7. I was thinking maybe a, a 13 or, but and I got a 17 for because I got the same power supply. I got the same power system that I've used in my Sig Cadet and everything. But the 17 inch man, that prop's going to be on the ground if you come in land and uh, you get a little note bump down you're going to be striking a prop so it flies fine there i don't care about going fast i just like be kind of curious to check my battery i'll put that in the video there you have her man the hangar 9 valiant 10 cc in the sun jeff in the sun tuco underneath the car he ran around a little bit he didn't run too far but he ran around and he was happy he came over and stood there and looked at his empty the hole in the bucket where his water dish was and i gave him water there you have her, man. I'm running a running HRB 4000 all the way to the wall. And there's a little brace right there in the front. I had to knock it out just so I could get the battery, get the battery, get the hatch to go back in. But yeah, follow the instructions. It's a great build. I don't know if they're going to bring this at back. Then they're sold out. But you never know with Horizon. I think it's a fun flyer, but I, you know, like I said, I don't know. I just got the one fly it, but well, thanks for coming along for the maiden. I appreciate it. Two in the shade, Jeff in the sun, Valiant in the sun, DNX10 hanging by a finger. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing and coming part of Team Let's Go Fly. Ow, 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 ow.